Welcome back to the channel guys. So, something a bit different today. So I've always wanted a nice chair for the garage, but let's face it, this is nice, but it's not very garagey, is it? So, got this. So these two items, uh, a friend of mine was just gonna take them to the tip. Um, there was a pair of these, one of them's quite badly damaged. Um, and this one's, it's decent, but it obviously it's, it's not perfect, but it's, Perfect for a uh, nice garage beer drinking chair, pondering chair. And then this was also going to the tip. So you know where this is going, don't you? So let's get stuck into it. A little bit of an upcycling video. Uh, see where it goes. I'm pretty sure I've got the idea of how to do it. There's a big, what feels like a big steel base on the bottom of this chair. All through it. But this might be a cool little build. Any ideas people might, spares kicking around in the garage? Stuff like that. I've wanted to have a little garage here for a while now. Um, a little stool's good, but you know, this is a day like now. Oh, it's lovely. Very hot, over 30 degrees. It's getting silly now, but let's sit in a vinyl chair and make it happen. So yeah, this is just your standard um, computer chair. It's got a height adjustable base, but again, a bit damaged and stuff, and it's just not quite garagey, is it? So it's got a nice good base on it. And we've got a Cobra Classic chair here. So yeah, I think these two need marrying together. So there's four points that the normal mini frame would have been added to this, or classic car frame. These are generic seats, but this came out of a classic mini, obviously. Um, and then on here, there's four points where it's mounted, but the four points on this where it's mounted, which I'll show you in a second, is very narrow, and that chair is just gonna fall off there. Um, so I think I'm gonna rip all this off, get rid of this completely, um, and then we will go and have this recycled, the bits that I'm not using. Um, and then we've got a cool little chair. So yeah, let's work it out and see where we're getting on. Anyone that keeps asking, budget club and engine still sat there. Don't know why, but I'm going to strip it soon. So kicking off with this, there's obviously four points, one there and obviously in each corner of where these seats would have mounted to a seat frame. So I'm going to pick up on them basically and get going with it. But this itself, it's quite a nice little chair, isn't it? It's not a bad little chair. So set this aside. It gets a little bit confusing. On, well, not confusing, I guess, but on the underside of this, you can see it's got a big sturdy height adjustable thing and it's four points there. But this feels like either hardboard or metal. So we're gonna get that off and we're gonna use this as a base so that's more sturdy on it. But well, that's the plan. Right, so now we're left with this. Oh, it already feels like a good garage swinging chair. So, I'll see this still works. So I need, now I need to get rid of all this around here to rebuild the, the base of this, basically. So, yeah, all it was was a couple of screws, the Allen head screws, oh, throwing it down there. A couple of Allen head screws, little plastic caps on it. I'm just using a blade and being very careful with the blade before it's cut itself the blade. Um, to get all this off, so let's get cracking with it. So now we've got the bit we basically want to work with, so we can start trying to peel all this away. There's a little bit of, there we go. This is all we want to reveal, is this bit here. So, just like that. Let's pull that away. how we get on with it. So 
So I think there's some little straps on, on here, which will just slip that away. Some more in the centre there. There we go. Just pull that off there. Just cut this last little bit off. We've nearly got a base, so it looks like I'll get rid of these because I don't think we're going to need them. And you can see the mounting points already here where the actual spline for that mounts. Probably have to get rid of that bit of foam off there. Like that. And then we're left with a base. So, yeah, I'll get this cut off out of the way. And I think then we're just going to mark four holes and hopefully it's going to be as simple as that. I can see we need some spaces, this bit concurve sort of shape, that's obviously flat. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We might get lucky at two of these mounting points are nearly close, you never know. Um, so let's get rid of this off here. And then we should be golden. no more. You can kind of see where we're going with it. So I think actually where I've just plonked it is bang on where it needs to be. So on the front kind of overhanging that a bit so you're not going to catch yourself on the wood which is exactly how that seat was. And then we can trim all this excess off because it's not going to interfere with the, the mounting points. So really what I need to do now is to drill the holes for this uh, so somehow mark get one corner like you know, diagonally across mounted and then we can make a template from the, the, the bottom of this seat to do it or i have got the other seat which i could completely gut bang the template on drill the holes through them and do it so yeah let's get measuring because once this is fixed in place i can set about re-trimming this um, which I kind of had the idea of using the old material from the other seat that's quite damaged. Just throwing it over the top um, with some of this foam. So it looks a bit ugly like that. The only way we could make this work <laughs> is. Uh, wait one minute, see if I can make this work. So that is the front of the seat. Um, you can work that out just by how the, um, the lever works and stuff like that. So you'd sit at the front and you'd pull the lever that way. Um, obviously, do that. So these brackets that came off the side, uh, these mounted the armrests to the base. I had a bit of an idea. Put them back on, on one side. So we just... So they've already got pre-drilled rib nuts in them. To put these back on for a sec, you see where I'm going to go with this. So I love reusing things and at the moment it's 31 degrees and it's a bit too hot for doing this. But on another breath, it's the perfect thing to make for weather like this. So, they're back on. See what you think. This, anyone recognise it? If you're into your classic minis, um, obviously if you're not, you won't. I never throw anything away, do I? My scrap metal bin. That, there. Other brands available, but if Hop House wants to sponsor this channel, that's great. Yeah. You can see where that's going, can you?
right, so I've trimmed this down to a shape that I'm pretty happy with. You can obviously see that's where the air vent would have gone on the Classic Mini. Drilled my holes on that, so that's gonna be my base. So if you can kind of use your imagination for a second. That'll go on there. That'll be my base. Obviously, I'm gonna trim it all up, so it's nice. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tack these onto there. See, I've got another two bolts. Um, these are actually classic mini subframe bolts, just to uh, keep the classic mini theme going throughout this whole seat. Um, so what I'm going to do, so these bolts, just basically using my spares, um, these two are a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is set the height that I want with this, um, tack both of these onto here, then tack that onto there, and then I can set these two kind of bring it up and just lock the ends of them off while I, while I weld it on. So, I can't believe I'm even thinking of doing this, but let's get the welder out. And let's get them tacked on. Right, so there we have it, one cup holder. So now I'm gonna just kind of trim all the profile around so it's nice and round and obviously not jagged. Um, I'm not gonna trim this top bit down because I'm probably gonna use this length here to fit it. But yeah, that's all their mini subframe bolts. That's a mini flitch panel. That's a scrap bit of steel. Like I say, I've just managed to level it off. Happy at that. Got a cool imprint in that wood as well. Um, yeah, so tidying it up, but looking at the uh, seat actually. So let's move you guys over here. So here's the seat or the seat base. You can kind of see where I'm trying to go with it. So that will kind of sit. So I've loosened them off somewhat. It will kind of sit like that. Look at that. Obviously, it's not finished, but got a place for a beer. I mean, the garage chair. Yeah, you know I'm going. Let's get it cleaned up. So there we have it, the raw form 
Pop order. We're happy with that. So now I just need to obviously get rid of these all these sharp edges, form it how I want it, prep it, get it painted. But that's all using obviously spare mini bit, spare the original brackets off this seat. I've just used again, I'm gonna cut these tabs off as well because they're useless now. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, we have it, a bit of the uh, Frost Etch Primer. Is that that dry? Yeah, boy, look at that. Obviously it looks better now with some paint on it. So we'll let that flash off, put a second coat on, then get some satin black on it. Or oh, Kingfisher Blue, hmm. Right, so like mentioned, I have two of these seats. Um, Obviously this one's in quite bad condition, it's ripped on the bottom and it's all torn all the way down there and stuff. But I've obviously, I want to try and cover that with something. So I've drilled the holes now for the seat to sit on, which I'm happy with. But I'm thinking if I cut all of this vinyl out as much as I possibly can in a decent, I can lay that over the top, maybe with a bit of the foam padding, but I'm not too bothered by that because obviously the seat's going to sit on top of it. But just so it looks aesthetically a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, let's get trimming. All right, so I've trimmed that off there now. I feel sorry for itself. And then the idea is, so the back is where that split is, unfortunately. Obviously there's a split in the material, but I'm trying to recycle as much as I possibly can. But if I can hide that split basically at the back, like that, the seat's gonna sit there. I'll pull it tight as I can, and I can trim it, staple it all underneath. Then the seat's going to just sit on there. Obviously, we don't need any padding or anything on that because we need the seat to basically bolt straight to this. So what I'll do is I'll get this glued down, trimmed up, and then plumb my little holes in. And uh, we might as well melt that for the last time. Yeah, boy. Holders all fitted, seats all fitted. The only one thing to do, isn't there? Let's try it out. So it still functions as an all chair. I've trimmed all that in what was left from the old seat, so it's not bare wood. Obviously made that little uh, little addition on. I mean, every seat needs a cup holder, and it's quite a nice. Look at that! Garage chair, yo! Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this quite random video on this very hot weekend. Um, but yeah, it's as comfy as anything. It's just like, still does this old tilt thing. It's, it's chill. It's branded. There's a beer in my cup holder. So it would just be rude not to crack it open, wouldn't it? Cheers for watching guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more random videos like this, I thought it's, it's something I've wanted to do for a while and I thought, I don't know if I'll film it, but it's all fully mini related. So let's just check it out. Obviously, Cobra classic style seat. These bolts, subframe bolts from the budget clubman. This plinth at the top is a repair panel for a classic mini. 
So that's the uh, flitch panel where the air vent goes through. The bottom piece is just a piece of steel, but all of that is classic mini. Um, the bolts that have gone into the bottom of it have actually come out of a classic mini out into the bottom of the seat. So, hey, it's quite cool. So hopefully you'll see this in a few more videos. I think I'm gonna keep it in the garage. I was kind of planning on having it upstairs where I do all my editing and stuff, but I don't know. I kind of quite like it down here. It's like, you can just ponder. It's quite nice. So yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you want to see anything else like this. So I, I really enjoy saving things. Like I mentioned, I don't throw any steel away. I don't really throw much away, unless it's complete garbage. Um, thank you very much, good friend Jackman, for the seat. Um, like I say, it was all going to the tip, and I was just like, ah, got an idea. And he was like, I thought you wanted to make a garage chair. That I did. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't already, check out our sponsors in the description below, Frost Restoration. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, enjoy this nice cold or slightly warm beverage now and just relax. So I'm gonna sit and chill, drink my slightly warm beer now. Um, and I'm just gonna ponder. Violet sat there in front of me. Some tires are on order. Mercury's are going on Violet. So quick update on that. Do I do the minivan? I'm itching to start my minivan. Drop in the comments below, guys, if you'd like to see more like videos like this, like mentioned. Would you like to see the minivan? Cheers.